think you were included in that. Hmm. Thanks. Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thetis is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. How long do we have? A day, a week? Darkspawn are charging through the deep roads. Makes it hard to get an accurate idea of where they are. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon, Warden Lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solas. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. You've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question, if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? We've been through this already. You agreed to help me. What did you think my help would look like, Rook? I need to know that you are prepared. I've gotten a few of them to come around. A few of them? We've even got a Grey Warden on the team now. Davrin. But the Grey Wardens as a whole still do not trust you yet, as I feared. We're making progress. When I asked why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said that nobody else was doing it. That sufficed for me. But you will need more to convince the Grey Wardens. They see themselves as destined to lead this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? All I can really do is keep trying to get through to them. Have you ever ridden home in a wagon and felt the streets go from paved to dirt beneath the wheels? The horse is slow, and everything grows quiet as you're near home. What do you call that feeling? I don't really have a word for it. No, you do not. Elganon destroyed that emotion. He burned it from the mind of every living being. There were spirits of that feeling, just as there are spirits of joy, or fear, or despair. I begged them to fight. What happened to them? They waited too long. Without the emotion in this world to focus on, they faded until nothing remained. When you grow quiet, 
It is a part of your soul reaching for a feeling and finding emptiness. Because I fail. I understand. I'm not going to fail. How? What will you do? I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the First Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanurus once numbered many more than those whose names survive in the Elven Pantheon? One warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? I can't force the First Warden to listen. I have to let the Wardens try it their way. And how many Wardens will die before the First Warden realizes his mistake? I've done everything I can to reason with him. I once warned an elven village that Gillanane was coming and they were in danger. They would not listen. I had to watch as their bodies twisted, as their shrieks turned into the grunting of animals. Their eyes were the worst part. They were still aware. They knew what had been done to them. I gained little peace from knowing that I had tried to warn them. Is that what you hoped for? No. I have to find a way to get through to them. Then what will you do? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanurus' as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanurus until their Dragon Thrall is slain. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganan is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Nathor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves, with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Algernon sounds legitimately terrible. He is cruelty and arrogance personified. All of the Evanuris were flawed. But he made all of them worse. By contrast, Gillanane was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. The old stories of the Devinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient magisters. How did they do that, if they were just tools of the elven gods? The archdemons were once high dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered, 
It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. Hi there, boy. Good taste.
finding a friend at the well. Was that friend in their head already? Or is this where it started? Too late for them either way. She could hear water dripping? The note we found earlier said her voice is in the well now, too. It got to her in the end. Trouble nearby. Another of those Fen Harel altars. Statues. They're Chantry sisters. They're meant to look serene. The effect's somewhat ruined now. With blight pushing through the cracks, it's a wonder they're still standing. Whatever this echo was in the well, I think it possessed them. The more people go near it, the more it gets in their minds. It offered a way out, then kept them in place. Was it all a game? That journal mentioned clearing boards from the well. It was sealed away once. Whatever's down there, whatever you did to those people, I won't let you do it again. We're sealing the well. Sealing.
It's done. No more Echo. For now. You've been to the farmlands. There's a family. Vos. I'm close with him, with Ursa. There was something in the well. It got to them. But we aren't supposed to listen! The stories... But it was sealed! It's sealed again. We need safe to go back. I'll bury it even deeper for Ursa. Thank you for letting me know. You're Rook. You've been helping the Wardens. I'm Bastion. There's more out there than Blight. You must be careful. Of what? I heard something from up at Gaspin Manor while I was escaping here. The place has been abandoned for years. They say the Lord had some cursed treasure. One day he just disappeared. Could the Blight awaken the curse? If it draws evil here, the treasure's up there somewhere. It should have been destroyed. I wouldn't be surprised if damage from the Blight stirred something up. Whether it's a curse or a darkspawn nest, Lavendel's better off without it. You've come a long way. If you want a short drink, you let me know. Thanks for dropping by. didn't want to be followed. What are they doing in the Hosberg wetlands?
still in one piece. What's that sound? I have a feeling we will find out. So this is the cursed manor. It plays the part well. <laughs> nice hit, Rook. Lord Gaspin's treasure belongs to the Venatori. I want Lord Gaspin's treasure. But look at this place. Is it really still here? Lies. Anyone else suddenly thinking about a cellar? Yeah. If we find one, I'd be careful.
The cellar. Stay on guard. Research notes. This man wanted Lord Gaspin's treasure to impress Elgernon. He wants status and higher regard from his fellow cultists. Venatori wanted treasure. We found a sealed demon. What can you expect in a place like this? Let's look around. This writing is old. If it was Lord Gaspin, whatever he thought was back here, it wasn't enough. He found a demon, or became the one we met. If the demon was the curse, at least we've kept it away from Lavendel. Once we're done, we can let Bastion know. On the job.
a wisp.
No problem. Targets ahead. Look there. Oh my god. 
Every one of these gets us a little farther. The necropolis door to the demon, the real demon these all came from, should be open. We know where to go to end it. We have company. Wetlands are unsettling. Welcome to Warden Life. We get more of this than visits to sunny cafes. Even spites unnerved. I have layers of unease.
Rook, always good to see people return. Means they're still alive. We went up to Gaspin Manor. You did? And the curse? Was it... Did the Blight wake it? Less the Blight and more like some Venatori. There was a demon haunting the manor. We stopped it. Huh. Well, we all knew something wasn't right. And thank you. There's one less evil to worry about. Everything's calm. Looks like the candles worked. Let me know if you need my help the next time you leave for the mortal world. Thank you again for coming. My duties include tending to these rites of remembrance. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. Uh, very good, Manfred. 
He sounds excited. I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. These lives were flickers against the ages, precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. That's not what I'm getting. You don't care for it? It's a bunch of posing skeletons. That one's livelier. Here. Who were you when you breathed above? This body was a tailor's, a mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Seems disrespectful to abandon something you built. Precisely. No wonder there's been an uptick in hauntings. Wait, what? Let's continue. So what now? We light candles in remembrance of the dead. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this, the last tomb of the Tannhausens, a very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto, their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon? I'm surprised there was enough to bury. Do you know, I never expected that the door we found back in the vault of the Beloved would lead here. So, the necropolis actually shuffles its rooms around? From time to time. Very unlikely to happen while we're inside a chamber. Could you light the next candle? Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated, weeping widower. You know your plants. Uh, alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. Right, just on the side. This way, Rook. You were right about the gardens being peaceful. The necropolis has its dangers, but these places are a refuge for the dead. How many people are buried here anyway? Excellent question. We rarely should take a new census. Examining the graves? <laughs> You'll need to light these candles as well. Open your hearts to the final day, companion of all the ages. I was pleasantly surprised by your respect for our undead tableau earlier, Rook. I'm beginning to think people outside Navarra find the necropolis a little unnerving. Well, veil jumpers appreciate the importance of history. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah, look here. Hi. Should I say hi? It's curious about you. We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. 
I've always had a rapport with them. Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the watchers took me in. Belated condolences, if that's worth anything. Always. We move on, as we must, but those long nights linger about the shadows. How did you deal with it? I didn't. When I first arrived here, I was terrified. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Come. The next set of graves lies ahead. Please, light the next candles if you would. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. And some death magic? Well, every young mage needs a speciality. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites, I ask you, Rook, what is it for? It's got to be the living, right? Yes! Exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. You told Harding that Manfred used to be a wisp until you gave him a body? Yes. He's taken so well to it. Haven't you, Manfred? <laughs> Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell. Let the rights be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watcher, faith kept in all our hearts. What was... <laughs> the Necropolis hosts many spirits. We thank these guardians for their protection and friendship. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony. So you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook?
Hasn't everyone, from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. It goes beyond dread. Can't be reasoned with or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night, sunlit streets, a roar, strangling fear, struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a Watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of host would I be if we didn't end with some light refreshment? We're having tea... here... <laughs> by the dead. Tranquility itself. Oh, if you prefer your tea sweet, Manfred loves using the sugar tongs. what this is about. Huh. There's writing on these bells.
Let's try this again. Let's try this again. opened up something. Maybe later, but not right now.
I wonder what this is about. There we go. I need a wisp. I don't think we can do that right now. Trouble ahead. Wisp wants something.
tanks. We got rid of that haunting in Arlathan. It sleeps once again. Excellent work. There are no further signs of the Venatori. However, we may wish to send some back as cautionary examples to the rest. Arm yourself. Quiet. That spirit we've been chasing must be waiting inside. when they're alive.
say when.
There. It's over. An undead dragon. That's one for the books. Turn. We are content. Why are you here? What do you want? Not now. Not yet. We will show you. Soon. This just gets weirder every time. Trouble nearby. They ask for it.
What's wrong? Is it the undead we've been fighting? Corruption seeps in, Dweller. It overflows here. Staunch it. Another of those blighted fade tears. There's got to be some way to close them. Corruption, undead. I'd say we found out who's responsible. Here it comes. Their blood, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. 
fate tear. Not just a tear, the blight.
They're gone. The fade tear in that revenant. What's left is its essence. More essence. the revenant the even nearest nor the roots their teeth his regrets destroy what rises
gone. And the fade tear, too. That'll slow down the gods' plans, at least on this island. The fade tear and the revenant are both gone. The revenant left its essence behind, like before. These revenants aren't just undead. There's something more. Their teeth, his regrets, the caretaker's words. Better get this where it's needed. This door. I think the essence we took from that revenant might be our way through. So it's a key, which means the gods don't want us in there. Wait. Valerium daggers vibrating. Like a song in a wine glass. Getting close to where Morrigan said that other fragment of Bethal was. That has to be her. Will this be a conversation with words or knives? Guess we'll find out. You are Rook. 
I have seen you and your companions. I never again expect to see my children in the Dreadwolf's crossroads. And you know who I am. Mithal. The part of me that survived betrayal by the rest of the Evanuris, if this can be called surviving. Solas. He drew me from the dagger that struck me down, but what is left of me can only survive here. I cannot return to the world, and even the true Fade is denied me. All I can do is watch. Have you come to seek the blessing of your god? Or did you come to ask your god to sacrifice herself to help you defeat the monsters Elganon and Gilanane have become? You are not my god, and I'm done talking to you. Ungrateful child. You would not be here had I not waded through fire and blood to give the Elven a future. You desire the essence of a god, and think you deserve it. Then take it if you can! Everyone get ready! That's one big dragon!
We have it. The essence of Mythal the Protector. I heard legends about her when I was growing up. And now... It burns just being near it. But this is the power we need to finish this. All we need now is the right target. I think the moment is coming. When we can turn the tide, we'll know. Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep, for gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. So why do the lords of fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies. Hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. Bet you deal with a lot of nasty traps during those treasure hunts. Yep. What's the most complicated one you've dealt with? Old Elven Armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably? I don't read Elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. That sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh. Puzzles. Ah, oh, but puzzles give you a chance to test your wits, to prove you're smart enough to beat whoever designed it. Ugh. I ran into one while traveling with Varric, 
It had these three poles with sets of different size rings on two of the poles. And you had to move the rings over to the third pole? And the rings had to be sized right and crap? Yes. You've seen it? That thing is Vashadon. I'd appreciate it if you avoided fencing any of the elven artifacts, unless Bellara tells you it's okay. Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. I mean, aren't you, though? Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. The lords send that stuff back to the Canari in Parvalin. They pay the lords a finder's fee. I hope the lords of fortune have a similar arrangement with the Dalish. Yep. Dalish guy named Shiv. He tells us what's probably cursed and what's important to his people. And, uh, Shiv doesn't mind your people robbing Dalish tombs? We don't rob tombs. Only assholes rob tombs. We rob old armories and crap. Sometimes the Dalish warn us off a of ruin. Sometimes they ask us for help getting in. The lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kunari history. The lords gave her work. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us. But that was before the Antam invaded Ravain. And now Ravain sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravain's official navy. But we're also helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. We should do this again. Grab a drink, share our tallest tales. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravain later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along, if you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. All right, just let me know when. The fires are lit. Sorry, uh, didn't mean to interrupt. Please do. I need to hear an actual voice now and then. Can't imagine why. I'm starting to dream that I'm a griffin. Squawk. Well, you get high marks for effort. He's toying with me. So what brings you by? Just curious, really. Wondering what it's like being a Grey Warden. They've always been these legendary warriors living apart from the world. Don't know about that. I spent time with people who were bad right up till they took their vow. How so? Weishaupt is the last stop for the wrong sort. If you're facing prison or worse, you can always join the Grey Wardens and take your chances with the Blight.
I've heard about Weishaupt. Never been there. It's a giant fortress, and home of the Grey Wardens. It's been standing for as long as anyone remembers. At least since the First Blight. Does it have floating buildings like the lighthouse? No, but things float up from the latrines. Fun bunch you hang out with. The wrong sort have their charm. And just how uh, wrong are the wrong sort? Thieves, brigands, pirates, and the odd murderer now and then. Sounds fun, right up to the murdering. At least now they're murdering Darkspawn. Has your first warden always been, well... A stubborn bastard? One way of putting it. He means well in his own way. He's old-fashioned. Tradition is everything. Keeps us disciplined. We never deviate from it. He'll have to. Elgernon and Gillanane won't play by his rules. If he even believes in them. The man doesn't have much imagination. Even the right sort can be the wrong sort. You don't seem the wrong sort. No one's born a hero. You're really selling it. It gets better. When Darkspawn threaten a village, when innocent people are in danger, then we swoop in, swords held high, armor gleaming, while a hundred faces look to us for salvation. And they all live to see the sunrise because of what we do. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Best part is the warden fighting alongside you. Maybe they've done some bad things in the past. But after that day, it's different. There's some honor in their life where there wasn't before. Nothing like seeing redemption happen before your eyes. We all need that chance. Put past sins to right. It makes the Warden stronger to have people in our ranks who've lived in the shadows. When the storm comes, you don't want farmers and florists fighting archdemons. It takes the wrong sort to put the world right. Kind of like us, I suppose. Minus the skeleton butler. Oh, I don't know. Man for the Warden. Has a ring to it. <laughs> How about we quit while we're ahead? See you around. Any luck tracking down your mystery friend? The Shaperit didn't like me asking about Shaper Valta. Or harassing people with talk of dwarven magic. Damn. That's a disappointment. Well, I'm not gonna find my answers in Orzammar. My contacts had no idea what I was talking about. <sighs> so what now? I was thinking. The voice said, look to those closest to the stone. What if she never meant Orzammar? Huh? There is another great Tig, the original capital of the dwarves, Kal Shirak. It was lost during the First Blight, and its people survived in isolation for hundreds of years. They re-emerged, oh, some 20 years ago? Hmm. And you think they're closer to the stone? Orzammar can't help. What have I got to lose? I'm curious about Cal Shirok's isolation. The dwarves took heavy losses during the First Blight. To stop the Darkspawn from overrunning them, they closed off passages in the Deep Roads. Those that could retreated to Orzammar. Cal Shirok was lost. They abandoned the city and its people, sealed them away with the Darkspawn. There must have been another way. What they did was monstrous. Can you imagine being trapped, knowing death was coming? But they didn't die. The rumors... That the dwarves of Kal Shirak had to change to survive? No one's really sure what that means exactly. When we find them, you can ask. Are you sure Orzammar isn't hiding something? Pressing them for information would be tricky. I could anger someone important. If Kal Shirak doesn't turn out, I can go back to poking at Orzammar. 
but not before then. How do we get in touch with these Kalshrok dwarves? Already working on it. You don't spend ten years in the Inquisition without making contacts. I should have a meeting set up by the time we're ready to leave. Nev, I, uh, I, I took a lot of notes while you were away. That's what you did, and who you met, and what I thought you might notice. I know you like keeping notes. I thought if you... Hey, you heard of the Hall of Valor? It's a fighting arena with the Lords. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. With all my regards, oh, but I don't want them to think me homesick. Hi, Emmerich. Rook, hello. Uh, just composing a few letters. The other Watchers have been most interested in our adventures. What's the Grand Necropolis like? Its majesty has stilled the tongues of kings and queens. It's a haven for spirits and the dead, a vast well of history, the duty and shelter of every Watcher. We who serve it are pledged to an eternal vigil. What do Watchers, uh, uh watch for? Ah, uh, there are stranger and more dangerous things than spirits in the Fade Rook. The Watchers stand against them when their shadows rise. And anything lately? A few portents. I cannot put down solely to the chaos of the elven gods. But nothing definitive. Perhaps only shivers in the void. So I've heard people call necromancers mortalitasi. What's the difference between them and the Mornwatch? Oh, all Navaran necromancers are mortalitasi. The Watchers are a special order within them. Very fancy. We've certain privileges and attendant responsibilities. What's the Mornwatch do? Our first duty is safekeeping the Grand Necropolis and preparing the funerary dead. Another is stopping misuse of dark magic and necromancy. Must keep you busy. Not often, but... <sighs> On occasion. I couldn't help overhearing the word homesick. Oh, I'm fine. Completely absorbed in our venture. But if I were home, I'd be preparing for new students or requests to speak to the dead. You didn't stop teaching just to be with us, did you? I'm long overdue for a sabbatical. Besides, do you know how many students the faculty wanted in my class next season? Ten! 
How is one meant to tailor separate lessons for ten pupils at a time? Honestly. Can people just ask you to show up for some corpse whispering? Oh, nothing official. There are very few of us, but we help here and there. Questioning a victim of murder, clearing up disputed wills, and sometimes fetching back last words from a loved one. You can get anything out of the dead and they just let you leave Navara? My gift has limitations. The dead only know what they did in life. What was clear under the sun is sometimes blurred when I revive them. Makes sense. Honestly, some conversations aren't worth the trouble. Death encourages obstinacy. Good to chat. I'll let you get back to your letter. Uh, before you go, I wanted to thank you for your company in the Memorial Gardens. There's another ceremony I have to perform there. If you'd like to visit again. Not yet, but soon. In the necropolis stuffed full of undead? Again? Well, there'd be no need for rituals if it weren't full of people. Dead people. I'll let you know when it's time. How thoughtful, Rook. Besides, there's treasure behind that waterfall.
ahead. Hey. Some for you. Some for you. Hey! Don't be a dick. That was for the little one. Stupid birds. Here, let me. You gotta spread it out. Throw it out in a clump and they fight over it. I know how to do it. So do it. Sometimes I practice with the fire out here. It's safer. No people around. Lots of water. Is it magic, or...? It's not magic. My mother says the Kunari used to be closer to dragons. Something in our blood. The Antom called you... a Dari. Yeah. Old Kunari word for fire breather. A few like me are born every generation. My mother thinks a Dari were meant for something special. She's always looking through the old texts for clues. Come on. Don't want to scare the birds. My mother left the Kune not far from here. She got herself transferred to Kantar from Parvalin. Smuggled me there and then walked out. I thought Kantar was well fortified. How did she escape with a child? Lacune is in a prison. People can leave if they want. You little guys hungry? Do you miss living under the Kune? Not much to miss. I was a baby. My mother misses it. She was in Ashkari back then. A scholar. Why'd she leave? Me. There's enough for all of you. Shathan was worried about what the Kanari would do with a fire breather like me. What would they do? She said they'd have me put in the Antom. Use me as a berserker. The idea scared her enough that she left her library and walked away from the Kune. There you go. Come on. Over here's where I practice. Why not on the beach? Don't want to scare the birds. We just fed them. What the crap is that? The Antam must be marking their territory. Not on my beach. Vashvatari! Come on. These banners need to burn. Okay. Nice. What does it feel like when you breathe fire like that? It's more like spitting. Ew. Something inside my throat opens up and lets stuff mix together. Then there's this rush of heat as I roar it out. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt your mouth to do that. It can. One time my tongue got in the way. Got a mouthful of fire. Ouch. Eh, didn't hurt much. My mother has to make food extra spicy so I can taste it. I guess that's the trade-off for being a fire breather. It's fine. I smell stuff better than most people. Antom supply cache. Too bad it's locked up. Not for long. Watch. Got it. Wow, it burned right through it. Yep. Melt some metals, not all. How'd you figure out which kinds of metals you could melt? My mother said I went through a lot of spoons as a baby.
This way. More birds to feed? Something like that. Karash, it's Tosh. I brought food. Avatash, it's good you came early. The feather clouds are getting lower. It's going to rain. Who is this with you? This is Rook. She's a friend. A friend? All right. Make sure you both dress for rain. Drip rain, not mist rain. Nice to meet you. And you. Karash was a worker cast navigator. Got dragged along with the Antam when they invaded. They told us it was ordered by the Kuhn. I was not taught war. I was taught the weather. Red clouds for thunder. Gray clouds for rain. Green clouds for the devouring storm. And black clouds for the Antam cannons. After what they did in Ventus, I ran away. I'm sorry the Antam did that to you. I do not have my old life or work, but I remember who I am. The Antam have lost even that. You saw their banners? They're in the area. I will not be seen. Okay. Let me know if they bother you. I am at peace, Avatash. I have the clouds to watch and fish to eat. More than just fish. Here you go. Shathan said to eat the fruit before it spoils. I like the cookies better. Everyone likes the cookies better. I'll eat the fruit. Thank you, Avatash. Panahe done. I'll see you soon. So, the dragon hunter has a softer side. The Kuhn says you take care of people. So you're a little Kunari, a little Rivaini, and a little dragon? Yeah. Not always easy, is it? Come on. I should tell my mother how Karash is doing. So what's not always easy? I've been a city elf living in an alienage, a Dalish elf living with my clan in the forest, and now part of a team fighting elven gods. Just once. I'd like to be one thing, you know? Yeah. I had to take Kunari language classes growing up. I had to learn how to tie these stupid knots. It wasn't so bad when the Kunari and Ravain were at peace. Now the Antom have broken from the Kuhn and started attacking. People look at me like they're scared I'll switch sides. But the Antom don't see you as one of them either, do they? Neither do the Kunari back in Parvalin. Nope. Mother, what are you doing here? You used to call me Tama. I also used to wet the bed. Want me to start that up again? I'd rather you didn't. Not that it's my business. She's not in my... She always did like the flustered ones. In truth, Evitash's tastes are quite varied. Although it is uncommon for her to be attracted to men. Mother. Perhaps because in some ways, she acts more like a man herself. Why are you here? I came to ask Karash about the tablet your group recovered. I wondered if some of the symbols might be used among the Antom. Be gentle. Don't make him talk about the war. I see the wisdom of your suggestion. I also see that you used your fire again. Chakra Toebra. Chakra Toebra. Remember to keep your consonants crisp. Kunari do not slouch, and neither does our language. Panahedan, Evatash. You did well bringing Karash his food. Sorry. She's like that. She's very involved in your life. <laughs> 
Yeah. It was nice to meet Karash. Yeah. It was. Thanks for coming, Rook. I hope the Kalsharok Dwarves have some answers. Someone named Stalgard? He, he told me to come here. He seemed nice in his message. So you don't actually know who or what this Stallguard is? A new friend, I hope.
we're supposed to meet Stalgard here. Stalgard? Yes. I... Lace Harding, of the Inquisition. Wait, how do you know about... And this is the one they call Rook? And Davrin, Grey Warden. Antuncha Valpar Thavidur. Alas too, Saurokka. You have brought a strange assortment to our gates, Lace Harding. Thanks for meeting with us. I really hope you can help Harding. You are gracious in your address. It is not necessary. Tell me what you wish. I... I'm looking for someone touched by the Ancients. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. She has been waiting for you. Follow, and keep your weapons ready. The roads are dark. The creatures there even more so. You are staring. What? No. You want to know if you can see the corruption you hear we carry? Sorry. I shouldn't have. A person will do almost anything to survive. That is what my people did. Become like the Darkspawn, or be destroyed by them. Not much of a choice. It gave me an appreciation for home. The food of air. I always found it strange how much Orzammar's people fear the surface. Why would they strip all cars just for the end? What do you mean you're like the Darkspawn? Kal Sharok was abandoned to its fate many generations ago, when the Darkspawn first came. We lost many. Some to the corruption, some by their own hand, and some found another way. Atuva Galta Satot. The stone is colder than death, as they say.
Shadows down here will play tricks on your mind. Not far now. Blight. It grows too quickly these days. And it feels different. You can feel the blight? Many from Kalshiro can, somewhat. Long story. The corruption here has its root elsewhere. Destroy it, and this growth will become vulnerable. Destroy the source of the blight growths? We can do that. I will stay on guard here. Right! Lift is stuck. Looks like a rock wedged in the mechanism. I might be able to help with that. Bet it's this way. Does it feel like there's someone watching us? Heard ya.
spawn, and they're everywhere down here. What are the chances we won't see any more of them? Did anyone else see that? I thought I saw someone. Someone? Down here? Maybe it was just a shadow. Better be ready.
get through the door now? Let's go check with Stallguard. The blight growths have weakened. So, we can keep going? Yes. Come. Mind yourself, and show respect when you enter the Sanctum. Yes, of course. But who are we meeting? I will let her speak for herself. But we of Kal Sharok revere her deep for being one with the storm. They say she was once from Orzammar, but she speaks very little of her past. There was blight everywhere outside of those doors. But here? It's clean. There's some kind of protected magic around this place. Strong enough to keep the darkspawn away. The song. Do you hear it? Coming from all around us. around more. Do you think Stalgard would mind? I think he'd be fine with it.
have arrived. But I don't see anyone. There. She's waiting. Thank you for leading her here, Stalgard. They call me the Oracle. This is how scary stories start, Harding. It's all right. I think. I... I know you. Don't I? Once I was Volta, as you were Lace, then Scout, and now, something else. All this... Is this what I am? Am I like you? I cannot tell you what you are. Look within, and remember. Remember when the Earth was alive, and the Titans walked the land. In one voice they sang, a chorus of creation, and of connection. Isatuna. The song. When the titans fell, we awoke, but the melody was already lost. The dwarves. We were always just shattered fragments of a greater whole. The stone sense. My magic. It's titan magic. But why? Why did this happen? Why do I remember Isatunal? What happened to the Titans? There's something else here. It's found you. You got him! 
everyone alive? Did you feel it? Fury. Such fury. And with you as its mark. M me But why? Hey, we can handle anything that comes our way. There are horrors in the depths. They have awakened to you now. Look within for your answers, and beware. No, wait! I have more questions! Huh. She does that. Riddles, riddles, riddles. Oh, I am a rock. But those weren't answers! She gave me nothing! Come back! Make her come back! Harding. Ugh. It's all right. I'm all right. Sorry. <sighs> We're done. Let's just get out of here. Oh, hey. You look like you could use someone to talk to. I'm that obvious? You're being uncharacteristically quiet. <sighs> I try to be cheerful. It helps me, and I think it makes other people feel better. But since we saw the Oracle... I don't know. You're allowed to feel off balance. That experience with the Oracle was intense. But I got nothing out of her except vague hints and even more vague warnings. This was supposed to be a good thing. One small hurdle doesn't erase what's good about this. I just wish I knew what to do. No matter what, we'll make sure you're safe. How? We watch out for you and prepare for a fight. You think it'll be a fight? When is it not? Maybe there's nothing to do now, but... Wait and see. I'm grateful for all your encouragement. This would be so much harder without your support. Anytime, Harding. Anytime. Harding left the Oracle Sanctum disappointed. Maybe she'd expected too much. Maybe there were no answers to be had. Seething with questions, she forgot the Oracle's dire warning. But far below the surface, something was moving, determined to be seen, and fighting to be remembered. Why do you run around in fancy mage clothes? Because I like them. You're barely even wearing a shirt. You fight Anton with a bad midriff. Everything all right? We're fine. Just trading fashion tips. So what I wear is a problem for you? It's not. It's just... Why dress like that? Are you trying to make your mother happy? Is this about what your mother said on the beach? No. What'd she say? Tasha's mother said that Tosh acted more like a man than a woman. And you feel like you should wear dresses to make her happy? <laughs> no. Can you imagine me in a dress? I'd look stupider than I... I'd look stupid.
Akash, if you don't want to talk about this... No, it's... It matters. And Nev... Sorry I was an asshole. No harm done. Your mother didn't just make you angry. Something she said got its hooks into you. Why? It feels... right. When she says I act more like a man. It feels... right. Why does it feel right? Tosh, do you like being a woman? Huh. <laughs> Nobody likes being a woman. Ah. This is stupid. Forget I said anything. Hey, it's not stupid. I do like being a woman, but if you don't, maybe that's something to think about. But what does it mean? It could be about your mother's expectations, or about how it feels to be a woman and Kunari. Or maybe it's being a woman, period. How would knowing that help? It won't change anything. Some of my friends in Minrathas talk about not feeling comfortable in their own skin. As a man, as a woman. I could see if they'd like to talk. Maybe what they say fits how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay. And thanks. You do look really pretty. Oh? To look at, I'd smudge your makeup. Thanks for letting me down gently. Everyone suit up. All hands for this one. Still can't believe it. They're attacking Weisoft? The Wardens aren't prepared for that. The gods are going straight for the throat. Unless we cut theirs first. Just get me close enough. With pleasure. Time to see what this letter opener can do. Who gets to tell the first Warden we're dropping in? I was hoping to skip that part. They've got an alluvian in storage down in the vault. It was a gift from the Dalish. Ours should go right to it. Probably. I think. Let's get to it then. We sneak into Weistops nice and quiet. No one sees us. We look around for Antoine and Evka. Was there a plan after that? Take out a god. End this today. This isn't the vault. Oh crap, they moved the Alluvian! It didn't break! 
Then here. Yes. Sorry! Catch up when you can! Shh! Don't spawn outside! Darkspawn? In Weishaupt? Just outside the door. Stay out of sight. Uh... Mila. Sit tight, Mila. We'll be back. The man can curse you! That's all of them, for now. At least it was an ogre's. You know your dark spawn. My dad's a blacksmith for the wardens. Who are you? Rook, we're here to help. Do you know Antoine and Evka? Probably in the war room. I can show you. That's Commander Janos, one of our best. He took them down with him. When did the dark spawn attack, Mila? Just a while ago. They started climbing the walls. You should stay here. I can't. I need to find my dad. There's worse than Darkspawn on the way. And walls won't hold it back. Today. Yeah. 
safe there. I need to find my dad. By yourself? There's places to hide. Don't... Good luck. Archdemons attacking the north wall. Signal of retreat. Fall back to the trap. Can't see the signal fires through the smoke. Try the horns. The Archdemon's too loud. No one's retreating. There's no choice, sir. We're under siege. We have to fall back to the dragon trap. Forget the trap. Send word to Commander Janos. Rally outside the wall. Janos is dead. Rook, what are you doing here? You need all the help you can get. You've caused enough trouble. Arrest them. No, you need to listen to them. We are under attack by a god. Do you hear yourself? There's no such thing. Stop finding excuses to be a coward. We'll stop the enemy outside the walls. The enemy is outside the window. Grey Wardens don't hide in our castle. I won't ask good soldiers to turn tail and run. We're an army of steel, holding back the blight. Order every blade out of Weishaupt. We'll all die, sir. That's an order, Warden. First Warden, you're confused. Notice the blood in your ear? It's the calling, isn't it? The Archdemon's messing with your mind while its master mocks you. No one mocks the Wardens. Of course not. You're the only force in Thetis that can stop this. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Not on my watch. This is your watch. Unless you become the leader who defied a god. They'll know our steel. Get down! Oh. Antoine! The dragon trap! What needs to be done? It's ten hundred years old. Never been used. Look, get to the trap. Get it working. Me? You were right. I wasn't. Now go show this guard what mortals are made of. We'll have your back. I'll hold you to that. Come on! All right, this is about to get a lot worse. You ready? Have to be. It's us or nobody.
Maybe that ballistic can help. If it wasn't under a pile of flight, maybe. Why not shoot the dragon? It's not a dragon. And it takes more than a ballistic to kill one. in the dark spawn. Takes longer, but it'll get us there. Let's do it! I was sure you were going to punch the first warden back there. Thought about it. It's a miracle you talked him down. He'd better earn it. Across the way. That's the library. We'll go down through the barracks to get there. Better than being exposed on the walls.
up here! Antoine, we're looking for a way out of this. Ah, uh, yes. Follow the torch. There's a bell tower that will get you out. Sounds like it's close. I still can't believe there's dark spot inside the White House. Right here's where I took my vow to fight back.
up here than down there. How about opening the gate? It's gonna be a mess. Just do it! Get ready. If this door doesn't hold, all bets are off. What about the dragon trap? The trap will work. Ooh. Take it from a blacksmith. You've set it off, 
and get out of the way. Dad! Mila! I told you not to get lost. Hope she wasn't too much trouble. <laughs> the right kind of trouble. She saved our butts. Anytime. The real problem is getting that dragon to land. Lucanus, the dagger. I guarantee this will get Gillanane's attention. And then? She sends the Archdemon after me. We trap it, Devon kills it, and Lucanus, you take your shot. Just like that. It's the best I've got. It'll probably get you killed. Better than dying here. Right. Then let's go. No one's seen the first warden. We did. Don't think he made it. I see. Well... The others will rally around his sacrifice. Be ready for it. Come on. I know a way to the trap. Once this is over, there's an old Illuvian here that could be our escape. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, uh, kind of fell out of the building. Oh? Well, if I can borrow some of your people, we'll get it right again. Side. That'll put us near the trap. Straight through the blight. portrait in here someday. It's not over yet. Will be soon enough. Gavrin, we've had our differences, but you have my utmost respect for making this sacrifice. And I know you'll finish the job and kill Gilane. Easier said than done. I'm good. But even I cannot kill a cloud face with a knife. Don't worry. We'll think of something.
Let's get out there. Give Asan a hug for me. Stay your blade, Warden. Sir. <laughs> Let an old man spill the blood today and make amends for his mistakes. No hard feelings. There should be. <laughs> but thanks for lying to a dead man. have a saying. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice. Racing heart, ragged breath, a waste of useful blood. What is that? The 
Relaunch Demon. What was the other one? We have to kill it. Kill it needs invulnerable until we do. It's already died. He just got back up.
another shot. Too late. Back to the Alluvian. Is it working? I hope so. Best odds all day. Evka sent word. Last of the civilians made it to Lavendel. Janos and his people held the line long enough for them to escape Weishaupt. And the Wardens are in Lavendel too. What's left of them, you mean? Over a thousand. That's how many fellow Wardens I had. And now? One god, one archdemon. That's all it took to nearly wipe out our entire order. Those Wardens fulfilled their oaths. They saved lives. Heroes, all of them. If not for them, how many civilians would have died? In death, sacrifice. The Warden's oath. Right. But it starts with in-war victory. I don't have much hope for victory here. We killed her Archdemon, though. That's something, isn't it? That's an incredibly rare accomplishment. Yeah. After it turned into a snake monster with too many heads. Are all blighted dragons gonna do that? I don't know how to fight that. Well, at least we've made Gillanane mortal. Mortal or immortal, doesn't matter if we can't get close enough. We had our shot at her, and we missed. Say what you mean, Davrin. I missed. Nobody blames you for that, Lucanus. Yeah? Maybe I do. This crow has a demon inside him, right? Now, that's not... How do we know we can trust him? Maybe the demon pulled his punches. Okay, hold on. Now we're getting... And you, Warden? What about the blight that runs through your veins? The same blight that Gillanane commands so effortlessly. Just a moment, please. Enough. Hundreds of Wardens died today. They gave their lives to stand against the gods. We owe it to them to carry on. Swing your blades to the enemy, not each other. We will honor their sacrifices by holding together in this fight. We're all in agreement on that point, Rook. But the question remains, how? We barely survived against one of the gods. I nearly caught her. Nearly. But you and Spite are not of one mind, Lucanus. Fighting for control, it's no wonder you missed such a rare opportunity. I think we've all been distracted. I've been preoccupied myself after discovering that hand of glory. And I can't stop worrying about my new magic and what it means. The Nodis are fallen? What it means for my people? Until those problems are resolved, we will not be prepared to face the gods. A moment of inattention, a single lapse, could prove fatal. And the gods will allow no second chances. He's right, Rook. We can't afford to stumble. The gods will jump on that in a heartbeat. We must be ready for them. That said, we need to find them first. Harding, can you send word to Evka? See if she has any rested scouts? Scouts? Why? The darkspawn that attacked Weishaupt had to come from somewhere. I bet they'll be headed back there. Following them should at least put us on the gods' trail. Got it. As for the rest of- Look, nothing against Emric. He's right about needing focus. But what happened at Weishaupt? That was more than a distraction. So is what happened to Mimrathus. What the Venatori have done. What they're still doing. These are more than distractions, Rook. Either way, we all need to step back. Clear our heads. So... 
How do you think that went? Davern was still upset there at the end. That's his right, after the horrors at Weishaupt. But I hoped I'd gotten through to him. They stopped fighting when you told them to. That's something. Emmerich's right, though. Everyone on this team has some kind of unfinished business hanging over their heads. That's the danger in recruiting competent people. They bring more interesting and complicated problems along with them. So go help, Rook. Support them. Solve those problems. And maybe start with Davrin and Lucanus. Or even Nev. She's taking Minrath as hard. And the gods? Well, you've asked the Wardens to track them through the Darkspawn. That'll take time. I should use that time to check in with the team. And then, I should go talk with Solus. Better you than me. He'll want to know all about Gilanane, the Archdemon, and why you only stopped one of them. You know, all this talking wears me out. I'm going to take a nap. See you later, kid. Good luck. <laughs>